So your body knows exactly the age and weight and health status of your baby. And it produces a, a specific blend of food for this child. When we separate the child from that lactating person, and that person chooses to use a breast pump, there's no more feedback. When babies latch on, their saliva gets into your milk ducts and the saliva is carried up into the milk producing tissue and the body produces exactly what that baby needs if he has faced or been hit with a pathogen or a virus of some sort. So that's one of the feedbacks that we get from breastfeeding directly from the breast. When we use a breast pump, the breast pump creates negative pressure and that's it. But when baby breastfeeds, baby puts positive pressure on the areola, which then triggers the milk to let down. So, you know, all is not lost. All is not lost. I have many clients who choose to pump exclusively. And then I have mothers who are going back to work and we're breastfeeding and they want to continue providing their milk to their babies. So there are some tricks that we can employ to help this factory made breast pump act similarly, or at least remove as much milk as it can from your breast. Now a breast pump can effectively remove a third of the milk that's available. Babies can effectively remove two thirds of the milk that's available, which means that even when you finish pumping, your baby has access to a lot of milk. And even after baby has fed, your breasts still have a lot of milk in them and, and can produce more milk. 